the Detroit fans were rabid for rock and roll and we were rabid to give it to them. And so we had done a great show that night and there was a hotel we stayed at right across some square near there. And I was up at the top floor that night, wasn't tired, just sitting there, just kind of trying to come down so I could go to sleep. And I just started staring out the window, you know, looking down and it's like three in the morning and these people are still milling around. So I thought, wow, streetlight people, look at these streetlight people. They're just out in the night in, in the, under the streetlights and they're still, you know, running around. And then I started thinking about that. Well, it came time to write the lyric. I told John Kane about this moment. And I, I, I wanted streetlight people living just to find emotion. And then we came up with hiding somewhere in the night. That, that's where that came from. It came from downtown Detroit. It really did. Every one of the songs we ever recorded were treated like they were special. But that song, over the years, has become something that has a life of its own. And it's, it's, it's about the people who've embraced it and found the lyrics to be something that they can relate to and hold on to and sing. I, I just want to say this is the greatest honor of my life. I've, uh, I've gotten platinum albums and gold albums, and I've been inducted in the Hall of Fame. But for my mother, my father, my grandmother and grandfather, I truly am beside myself and grateful that this is happening because through me, I, I know they are seeing this happen. And I just want to thank everyone who has decided to induct this song in the Library of Congress. I just want to thank you. Don't stop.